we anticipate that a growing number of individuals will be eager to explore new mobility services and new devices far beyond what's available now. Therefore, we concluded that in the future, the demand for various mobility solutions will grow so much that producing them all in a single factory will be a challenge. A completely novel approach in manufacturing is therefore necessary. In this context, we established HMGIX as the integrated urban microfactory, which would be close to customers to produce a large variety of mobility devices to respond to their needs, as well as directly interact with them to anticipate those needs better. Good afternoon, Mr. Byun Min Won, Head of Business Cooperation, and Mr. Ri Tak Koo, um, Leader Digital Transformations of HM Jix. We are Tian Kang, founder of Product Pascal, and uh, Zhang Chen Si, Chief Editor of Product Pascal. Thank you for joining us today. It's an honor to have the opportunity to discuss a remarkable technological innovation, the Hyundai Motor Group Innovation Center Singapore. Positioned at the forefront of technological advancement and sustainability, HM Jix serves as a shining example of unwavering innovation aimed at shaping a sustainable future for generations to come. So let us move on to the first topic, which is on cutting edge technological integration. HM Jix continuously pushed the boundaries of innovation by integrating cutting edge technologies into its operations. This relentless pursuit of advancement contributes to shaping a sustainable future, particularly about twin factories in a virtual digital space. So uh, Mr. Hu, uh, could you provide insights into how HM Jix integrates digital twin technology into its manufacturing processes and how this approach enhances operational efficiency and decision-making processes within the smart mobility hub? Yeah, sure, sure. Right. So ha happy to share that. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, thanks for the invitation. Right. It's an honor to do this interview. Right. Uh, in, in the space of uh, X-Twins, right, we, we, we have several technologies, digital twin, uh, at the same time, uh, also there's this data twin, right? So in this space, uh, how the twin um, versus physical world, uh, how, how we work together, uh, basically is to provide uh, better um, or more instance uh, access of information, right? Uh, take data twin as an example. Uh, in HMG, uh, uh, we are almost there. We aspire to have 100% connectivity. What that means is basically all the physical system, the machines, equipment that you see, uh, we are able to tap into data down to the very low level uh, instantly. And, and how this data eventually collects together uh, that, that helps in the optimization uh, and, and also um, improvement uh, that we're doing day to day. Right? Uh, one example would be the production uh, that we are running uh, while the physical activities is happening uh, every hour. Uh, the relevant parties, be it operators, uh, production supervisor, and even management gets instant access to the ongoing activities and, and the status of that uh, instantly right, at the same time versus uh, uh, the traditional model where we are relying on a certain cadence to get reporting uh, based on the actual activity that has happened. Right? That allows the team to actually respond faster. And also at the same time, uh, you see this data democratization, where more people can be involved in any problem solving. Uh, Digital Twin is actually along the same line, uh, provides a more instant monitoring of the actual activities that is happening. Uh, but with this data, what we are heading uh, towards, of course, is after the optimization, uh, there will be a path where we can enable full automation and uh, the vision of autonomous, uh, autonomous factory. Right? That itself is building on top of the same foundation that we're talking about. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mr. Hu. Let's move on to our next topic. So the next topic is mobility factory innovation. Could you explain how the mobility factory without conveyor belts approach using cell manufacturing at HM Jigs facilitates agile and adaptable production of various vehicle types? And what advantages does it offer over the traditional conveyor belt systems in terms of flexibility and automation? Right, so, so you, you catch the keyword right there, right? Basically, agility 
is uh, probably the key uh, value that we will add to any manufacturing. Right? It's, it's not just uh, mobility, but this place is being very special versus uh, many manufacturers that we have, that we have the cell set up. So, so number one is uh, we are able to uh, have the flexibility of different production timing, uh, where you know with the cell configurations, uh, different cell can actually function basically independently. But at the same time, uh, it all connects as one factory, right? Uh, without having to wait from one cell to the other versus the very conveyor concept. Uh, at the same time, uh, it also provides us the adaptability that we can actually reconfigure if needed to, because it's a cell base. Uh, we can always add one more cell, parallel cell, or, or reconfigure it to support the other models if we need to, right? Uh, as, as we have the factory open, uh, actually we are moving towards uh, building more car models, right? Uh, we won't be able to do so easily, uh, probably because um, using the convey concept, because um, many things need to be reconfigured, right? We sell, then, then we can really be focused into certain areas that we need to do and, and probably um, commonize uh, some of the setup that we have. Uh, and, and then we can break it down in using the agile way. Uh, to attend to the area that, that needs uh, better improvement or attention. Yeah. Great. Uh, thank you, Mr. Wu. I really find it interesting how the flexibility of the cell configuration actually helps to improve the efficiency and like the adaptability in the construction of the cars. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Exploring concepts such as optimization, statistical analysis, mathematical modeling in the context of manufacturing has been intellectually stimulating. I am eager to continue exploring the application of mathematics in solving complex industrial problems. After exploring the intersection of mathematics, physics and computer engineering in the context of digital transformation, I feel inspired and motivated. Learning about how we can integrate digital twin technology was eye-opening. It's clear that these innovations are shaping the future of manufacturing. Welcome to the future of manufacturing. Where innovation meets efficiency. The concept of instant monitoring and the potential for full automation in the future showcases the power of technological innovation in industry. Digital transformation and smart factories also fosters a culture of innovation and constant improvement. It's not just about efficiency, but sustainability as well. Meta Smart Factory is committed to minimizing environmental impact, ensuring a greener future for generations to come. Digital transformation is not just about technology, but also about fostering a culture of innovation and continuous improvement. We discussed the importance of data democratization and how it empowers people at all levels to equip these skills. Exploring the role of algorithms, data structures, and artificial intelligence in smart factory operations has been exhilarating. The prospect of developing intelligent systems to automate processes is incredibly exciting.